Okay. Yeah. Seven to ten. Just four more Dressed, but I'm tough. <laughs> Give myself a wee fright there, Liz. <laughs> Who's this against somebody? This is going to be uh, better than the film. Have you seen the film yet? Uh, no. no. Never. Rubbish. Huh? <laughs> Rubbish. Are you allergic? I know a pal, right, tell you this story, who instead of saying, no, I don't want a bar of chocolate, she just goes, I'm allergic to chocolate. And nobody offers it. Want a drink? No, I'm allergic to alcohol. How we can be pals, I don't know. <laughs> but, that's a good tip. Do you want to go on a date with my girlfriend? No, I'm allergic. <laughs> so, I'm a big hard cat. <laughs> Do you know the funny thing? I'm in my work. This, this is me working. <laughs> and you have all pay good money to see me working. I can't see any. Right in. <clears throat> Enough of that, carry on. Meow. <laughs> what is it, day again, that? <laughs> I've never really been good with cats. <laughs> This is a wee song, <clears throat> and it's all about me, the hardest cat in Kelly. <laughs> Not only do I hope you like it, I hope I remember it. <laughs> if I don't, I'll be starting again. I hope you beat your flash to pieces with you. <laughs> this is a wee song called Sam the Skull. Oh, what a boy, a tune of 
The dick is a library, <laughs> and a museum, just in case you know anything other than that. Right, I better go because I've got a saucer of milk to have. <laughs> and meet Felix, cats like Felix, like Felix and all that. Right, I'm, go I'm going to go, and I'll see you a wee bit later on. Will you please welcome back on stage my pal, Andrew Agnew! Well, I think um, since Liam started, uh, well, loosely, doing a song from the musicals, I thought I would continue the theme um, and give you a song from a musical called Les Miserables. Um, and this is a song called Stars. Fugitive running, fallen from God, fallen from grace. God be my witness, I never shall yield till we come face to face. Till we come face to face, He knows His way in the dark. But mine is the way of the Lord And those who follow the path of the righteous Shall have their reward And if he falls as Lucifer fell The flame, the sword Stars in your multitude Scarce to be counted Filling the darkness with order and light. You are the sentinels, silent and sure, keeping watch in the night. Keeping watch in the night. You know your way in the sky. You hold your cross and your aim. And their seasons returns and returns And is always the same And if they fall as Lucifer fell They fall in flames 
and so it has been, and so it is written on the doorway to paradise that those who falter and those who fall must pay the price. Lord, let me find you. That I may see him safe behind bars. I will never rest till then. This I swear. This I swear by the stars. the party started again um, and I'm going to take you back to 1987 oh, when I was, I know, <laughs> time machine, when I was uh, three. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Um, so, you know, have a little cheer dance, let me see you going. Um, this is a little Rick Astley song called Never Gonna Give You Up. Here we go. Never gonna let you down Never gonna run around and desert you 
cousin and uh, he's doing Wembley Arena, <laughs> Manchester Evening News Arena, the Hydro, Birmingham International Conference Centre, I'm doing Craig Tara. <laughs> But they sent me, they sent me to take Tara out of the twos because I'm the one that can fight. <laughs> That's how I'll get the red nose. <laughs> uh, smells like sponge. <laughs> so, uh, this is my, my rabbit. Roger. <laughs> Let's see this stupid thing off. Right. Right, I see a magic trick. Look at this. I think that needs one of the Viagra tablets or something. I took one of the tablets once. Didn't they swallow it quick enough and get a stiff night? <laughs> My granddad's 86 and he asked me to get him one. I said, Would you need one of the info grand of dinner for your sex life? He says, It's to stop me peeing on my slippers. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? Somebody want a balloon? <laughs> Hands up if you want a balloon. Here. <laughs> oh, hate magic. I hate wings. Are there any wings in the night? Where? You? I thought you were a midget. <laughs> I used to have a pal that was a midget, but I, I had him up to here. <laughs> you know his bird, his bird's six foot two, he's only four foot three. He knew it for six months, but he had the jacket in. <laughs> <laughs> I may tell you when the jokes are coming up in the morning. Happy couple down the stairs. Congratulations. <laughs> you want a balloon, Stephen? Did you already go one? <laughs> Who? Or <laughs> <Are> you? <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> right, Mel. I've got this. Uh, I've only got one. Same to want a big black man. <laughs> oh no, it's purple. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> That's me waving a balloon. I 
nice and face of Bob just jobbing myself. <laughs> point hiding me. I still find you. What's your name? No. Don't take what? Rudy? You were here before, weren't you? Ah, I see. Where are you from? Ah, uh, devil. See, that's why it's Rudy. Posh. See, if you'd been to Goldstar Halford, you'd be Rory. What's your favourite animal, Rory? Snakes. Can you have man? One fifty. Pound then. You don't get any money on you? See? Davo doesn't carry cash. Right, I've got a trick to show you. I'm going to leave you with this wee trick. It's mail order. Oh, I've lost my hang me. Oh, here, it's hold on. I need to get this and all. Wait there. I don't want to go back home. Do I need to go back home? Somebody, somebody smells it there. It's not me. It's no Rory either. He's the dad. Maybe, maybe Sham. Well, this is a, a trick that I go after the internet. And it comes with a free tape. And I'm going to put the tape into the hang. <laughs> and I make believe. So here's here's the tape. Go on in. And let's have a wee listen to this. This is for the Acme Magic Trick of the Month Club. Right. Just waiting on the tape. Hello, fellow magicians. Hello. Welcome to the world of Acme Magic, Thanks. your professional mail order magic company. 100% genuine. This lesson is the mystery of the vanishing bandana. Ooh. For this mystery, you will need two props. One is a square of darkly colored fabric and a yellow bandana. Fold the bandana in half. That's right, fold it in half. Now, fold it one more time. Take the folded bandana and hide it in your left hand. Remember to keep your hand in a natural position. This is called palming. Now that you have mastered palming, we're ready to begin. Open up the folded bandana. Show the audience it is a regular bandana by waving it up and down. If an audience member does not believe it is a real bandana, allow him to wipe his face on it. Now, pick up the dark square of fabric and gather the four corners together, making a little makeshift bag. Freehand, fold the bandana along the creases you made earlier and drop it into the folds of the fabric makeshift bag. <laughs> From the outside of the makeshift bag, squeeze the bandana into a small little ball. What the audience didn't see is that you never really put the bandana in the fabric at all. You really kept it hidden in your left hand. Remember calling? Again, remember to keep your left hand held naturally. Now, make a magical gesture. For the grand finish, fling open the fabric and receive your well-deserved applause. Never tells the secret. Thanks,
That's it. <laughs> Need to go and do a Wayne's party tomorrow. So I'm going to make some night nurse trifles and we bend on fruit cake jellies. <laughs> I'll get my sleep. Right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back on stage Melissa Wallace! <laughs> I think I need to do a big tear jerking number after that. Right, this is a number that Liam again has asked me to do. A wee number by Whitney Houston. Do you know Whitney Houston? Yeah. <laughs> Right, this is a number that takes me back to my youth as well. And like Andrew, I was only three in 1987 as well. Are you laughing? This is a number called One Moment Time. And I hope you like this one. If you do know that Jordan will just stick in the tune. Alright, Sandra, we'll show you a bit. Each day I live.
coming, don't you? Nah, I see. Hey, it's nearly Valentine's Day. I've got Sinise a new bag and a belt. So that's a Hoover fix. <laughs> yeah, what do you call a horse with three legs? Glue. <laughs> Cover. What? I like horses. Oh, they aye. That's good. You've got a horse. Well, it's not a pub quiz, sir. Here. Oh, here, wait a minute. Oh, let's take that old one. That's it. Eh? Take it back. Take it back. A horse? You think you're the pictures of Rosie Taylor or something? So anyway, I've just got off my time machine and I've stepped back into 1999 and I'm going to Expo. Woo! Remember that? No. No sunshine, you know. Ah, uh, no sunshine. No, that's because it's night time. <laughs> I mean, you're no getting out of here the night. I know. Because you're bad. Bad for what? Look, last week you told someone that you were going to punch that moustache right off the face. Aye, so I did, aye, so I did. Aye, aye, she was raging about it. This <laughs> 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 is in, mate. No! Oh, I'll knock you the new old duffer. What did you say? I said not, I think I know your older brother. I haven't got an older brother. I've an older sister. I don't know her. Aye, you do. It was her moustache <laughs> that you punched off last weekend. Oh, sorry mate, sorry. Right, don't you just let us in? Listen, my bird's got a free night tonight and I'm allowed to go. She's away doing the pebbles and Troon tell you it was 1999. Look, this is a classy establishment. Oh, I thought it was Expo. <laughs> It is the expo, but we just want to get a, 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 a attract a smarter crowd. I wish I'm in my shell suit. I'd go this way everyone wants. Told you it was 1999, didn't I? Well, come back at Halloween and you can see your Jimmy Savile. Now that joke would have been fine in 1999. That joke would have been absolutely fine in 1999. Look, I'll ask you a couple of questions. Right. And if you can get them right. right. I'll let you in. Oh, I'll brilliant, because I'm clever, and then I'll get into the nightclub where the bird's dancing on it, aye. Right, go. Right. Which Spice Girl holds the most hate? Jerry Can. <laughs> Jerry Can. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. What is the worst place you can hide? In a hospital. I see you. <laughs> what is the worst thing if you're a painter during the summer? Painter in the summer, the worst thing about being a painter in the summer. You need to have two coats. <laughs> There's one leg and there's uh, one leg and loves chocolate. One leg and loves chocolate. Willy Wonky. <laughs> Listen, what are you going to say to your, your girlfriend if she, if she asks you who ate all the chocolate spread? What am I going to say to my brother if she says who ate all the chocolate spread? Aye. No teller. <laughs> Up your run. I know what I'm going to go. See you after, right? See you later. That's a nightclub shutting cheerio. I see. Right, that's it. Now, I'm not getting into that nightclub, by the way. Do you think I should get in here? Yeah. Well, I think there's going to be a crack and act on the night. Let's just see. Is that a crack and act on the night? Is it the night? Is it the night user on? What is it? It's the night user on, aye. Right, ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome on stage the Soul Queens! <laughs>
I told you my accent goes wrong. Well, don't do that one either, that's... <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm now going to go and uh, get changed again. Right. Honestly, I've had more changes than Caitlyn Jenner. Right. I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you with the Soul Queen! jealous that the boobs sit where they're supposed to sit. <laughs> Mine ain't like that. But anyway, we are going to do a number. Do we all? I sound Irish now, don't I? <laughs> We're all going to do a number. Uh, that, um, um, yeah, that's originated from Ireland. Uh, we're all I feel like we're all part of like a huge Irish family. Yeah. <laughs> This is a little number called We Are Family. Can I get you on your feet for this? Come on, let's do this. Come on, come on.
Done by Tina Turner. Every single one of you really need to be on your feet for this because I'm knackered at the end of it and I'd love us all to be feeling the same way in fairness. Oh, hello, hello, what's your say? Right, this is a wee number then by Tina Turner and it goes something like this. Here we go. Okay, come on, I've got to keep it finished. Would you like us to do this a little soft? We don't like to do it soft. We like to do it a little. Yeah? So, this is a number that we're going to do a little less. And it goes a little something like this Jane Henderson, everybody. Put your big wheel turning, my darling. Big wheels keep on turning.
for coming tonight. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Come on. Did somebody just shout out your welcome? Who, who was that? Oh, are you in the back there? Oh, I think you better take her here make she's ready. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be... Is this some sort of Buddhist chant or something? What is that? Oh, she's hiding, doing it. Oh, I see. Getting ready to the half bolt before we. And that's fine. Full lights come up, that's fine. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming tonight. I can't believe that it's here so quickly. I can't believe that it's over. Um, it's been. <laughs> it's, it's been. Um, it's been. Uh, more? Uh, well, here's, here's a wee thing. Here's a funny wee thing, right? Um, the Palace Theatre here uh, has got loads of great things coming up. Two weeks' time, uh, Johnny Mack and myself are back with a brand new Francie Josie show. Uh, so please come and see that. So on Valentine's Day we get an afternoon show. That's called a matinee in the business, by the way. And, uh, and a nighttime show as well, so we'd love you to come and see it. Uh, nice Valentine's Day, nice present for somebody, maybe? Be nice. Sorry. Sorry. Do I come into your bedroom and talk about your performance? No. So, as, as I was saying, uh, so Johnny Matt and I are back with Francis Joseph show on the 14th of February, and then myself and Johnny and Andrew and Kat Harvey, who's in tonight, has written a fantastic play called Love Me Tinder. It went all over South Lanarkshire, um, and we're bringing that here in June. So come and see us in June as well. Um, it's a great show. Uh, Michelle McManus is in it, Mae Miller's in it, Kat Harvey, um, myself, Johnny and Andrew, and it's great because you get to work with your pals. Tickets are on sale now for that as well, so you can go and book them. That'd be smashing. Um, 
What else have we got to plug in? Is that it? Fancy Josie and lovely, lovely Tinder. There's loads of great things coming here actually. Um, so check out, check out the brochure. Um, I'll hopefully uh, be back next year. Yeah. Nothing, nothing's, nothing's booked yet, but a super. <laughs> but the pants <laughs> I feel like a spiritualist. <laughs> I'm hearing voices from everywhere and I can't see where they're coming from. <laughs> what was that? Don't go to How are you going? <laughs> I can't I can't confirm or deny the rumours that I'm going back to Glasgow for the million, but I'll need to let you know because I don't know what's happening. <laughs> that, yeah. Don't know. It's so nice that the support we've got here uh, has, has been great. Um, I'd like to say a few thank yous. Thank you, first of all, to Mikey and all the staff and Janice and everybody in front of the house for having me back. Thanks very much. <laughs> so lovely again for having us here. Thank you to Ryan, my musical director, my pal, and, uh, and the man who kind of puts all the other sorts of work and does all that. Uh, thank you very much to my support artists tonight. It's great to work with pals, and that's what I said about Love Me Tinder as well, and Francie and Josie. You get to work with your pals. It's, it's not going to work. Uh, a round of applause for Andrew Agnew. Yeah. Yeah. To Kerry and all the staff and all the girls from Dance Arena. Yeah. Thank you. To Melissa Wallace and to the Soul Queens. Yeah. To Shares and Jane. Thank you very much. Uh, to all my family and friends for the support. Um, it's uh, it, Here's a wee secret, right? So, hands up if you came to the 10th anniversary show last year. Yeah. Well, I've got a confession. It was 11th. <laughs> so the 10th one came and went, I didn't even know. So this is... <laughs> I was like, oh. And my brother said to me, I think you've had a kind of shows. And I was like, right. Yeah. So last year was the 11th. This is the 12th Liam Dolan show at the Palace of And I'm truly, truly honoured um, to be here and to do this. And the fact that people keep coming back and back again. <laughs> I'm delighted to come here and do the show that sells out, but my tax man's more delighted <laughs> in the accountant because they get to get paid. Um, thank you so much to everybody for coming. Uh, I've got friends who have come up from Blackpool as well. Thank you to Alison and Ray for travelling all this way um, up to see me. Thanks to all, the, uh, all the, the people who come and see me on a regular basis. But also, I need to say that um, being a... Uh, something just back with the other two. <laughs> 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 Man, he said he used to do that, he should be sitting talking to me like that. I saw, I see your dad say that he's going to come in the morning and then pick me up with a before and boo! Go to the supermarket and it was like... You spontaneously human combusted! Um, to all the guys from Let's Perform that come here as well to see me, thank you very much, thanks for coming. Um, to all my family, to all my friends. And, and the big thing is, that I really, really love, you've we'll got people in here that come and see me that, that knew me when I was a wee boy. So people that, that come and see me, Sammy and Denise and Elsie and uh, Alan and Jacqueline and who else knew me? There was a woman, my cousin was here for days ago. Who? Catherine. Oh God, I. <laughs> How can you get known? <laughs> He's still staying up at the hangman. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to see you, Catherine. Right. Right. I'll see you, I'll see you in the bar upstairs. Um, and also, uh, the, the support that we get, I love the we know here, and it says, uh, say hi to Sadie, uh, you worked with her in the old picture house uh, in the ticket bay in Kilmarnock. She's in the audience tonight. Uh, it's, now this, this is not a joke. Sadie Stalker, but she's not my stalker. That's a real name. <laughs> Sadie, where are you, Sadie? Yeah. Where are you downstairs? Are you there, Sadie? Oh, it's you, I. Can you do me a favour, Sadie? We you, you know we used to work in the cinema together doing the tickets and all that. Can you check everybody's ticket them out? <laughs> make sure they've all paid for it, make sure they've all got their, their money. And it says, are you 80 years old today? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sadie! If you can come upstairs and see me, Sadie, that'd be great. Um, and it's your birthday of the day. Is it the day? Sadie, you still wears? <laughs> Sadie, talk to me for God's sake. To Oh, 
that's another, that's another brand of people like, oh, you know, I love my heat <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to see me tonight, and uh, I will see you all very soon. I'll see you in the bar upstairs if you're hanging around for a wee drink, that'd be smashing. From me, Liam Dolan, and everybody in the cast, thank you so much. Good night and God bless, and I love you all. Thank you very much. Thank you.